The Dexas I is ScanFlow, using the Lock and Keep Tools Recorded class. This recorded class is designed for clinical team members. It provides instruction on using the Lock and Keep Tools in the I ScanFlow software. By the end of the session, you should be able to use the Lock and Keep Tools. In this session, we will explore the Lock Tool and the Keep Tools and the options that come along with them. Let's begin by exploring the Lock Tool. Imagine that you are scanning a prep tooth like this one here. Sometimes it's challenging to maintain a clear view of your prep because it is subgingival or you are struggling with tissue management, saliva or blood. Here the tissue and the prep are nicely separated. However, as you continue scanning the other side of the prep, saliva or tissue might infringe on the other side of the margin. This is where the lock tool comes into play. You can use the lock tool to prevent those areas from being scanned and be confident that you will have a nice, clean scan at the end. To engage the lock tool, simply click on this button, which will turn blue once selected. With this tool activated, you can select the specific area that you want to lock by left button clicking. The locked area can be an entire prep or just a portion of it. Double left click to finish and the marked area will be highlighted in a distinctive royal blue color to indicate that it's now locked and that the scanner cannot see it. If you change your mind, you can come back to the lock tool and select Restore or Reset if you have locked multiple areas. In this case, we will select Restore. Let's see this process one more time. First, we engage the lock option, then we select the whole area and we double click when we finish. Now this area is locked. If we are going to start scanning again, the scanner will not scan anything that is on top of this area, like fingers or anything else. Now let's explore another interesting option related to the lock tool known as reverse lock. This option gives you the ability to select the area you do not want to lock out. If you do not see the tool you are looking for, left click on the triangle in the corner of the button. Once we engage the reverse lock, the tool tips window appears to show us how to use that tool as long as the option is enabled in preferences. Next, we are going to select the area that we want to keep by left clicking. Once the area is selected, double left click and everything else outside the selected area will turn blue. In this way, once we start scanning again, the software will only capture data on this area that maintains its natural color. As we have already discussed, we can always restore or reset our selections. In this case, we will choose Reset to remove the lock. We will now select the lock tool again and as you can see, we have the ability to lock multiple areas in a single lock. I will now connect the scanner to demonstrate to you how the scanning process will seem when you have marked a locked area. So, we're going to engage the lock tool and mark an area to lock. Once I start scanning again, the area where my finger is located will not be captured because of the applied lock. It may happen sometimes that you have a locked area, but you still need to scan an adjacent area such as the mesial and distal contacts. In cases like this one, you don't have to worry about the locked area. Have the live view position in the spot so the scanner can recognize the information. Then the software will fill in the void. Here you have the locked area on the prep and data will not add to the prep area. Let's now explore the Keep button. This tool is useful in cases when you have a scan, and the software has some difficulty connecting two edges of the scan together. In this example, we can see that the software removed the distal molar once we proceeded to the check step. In cases like this one, where the software didn't manage to connect two areas and remove data from your scan, you can go back from the check step to the scan step. Then the software will undo the refinement and you are now able to see again the primary data that you captured while you were in the scan mode. Now imagine that your patient is left before you proceeded to the check step and notice that a part of the scan is gone. The patient is not available to be rescanned. What you need to do now is to engage the keep button. With the keep button engaged, 
we are going to select the entire area and some extra around it. This keep tool does not lock the scanner out from adding new data. You can use this button instead to save the data in the scan step so the software will not remove it when you proceed to the check step. In this way, you don't have to bring the patient back for another visit just to fill in this gap. Remember that once you highlight an area, you can always click on select the last area or unselect all or if you made an error with the area that you wanted to highlight. If everything seems fine with the area you highlighted, you can proceed to the check step. The software is now refining and it will keep the area you highlighted even if it's not connected. As you can see, we are in the check step and the tooth is not missing, it's just disconnected between the edges of the tissue. The disconnected area is still there and you are now able to send that case to the lab with all the information needed. This concludes the DEXIS IS scan flow using the lock and keep tools recorded class.